Right, welcome back. Just did a the Rocket Fuel, a Mustang Brewing Company, in between my house, which is over here, and the neighbor neighbor's house, and this is their their fence. I tell you, man, it's like a curse. Whoever lives at this house is gone within like six months. Like literally, no one's ever lived there a year. We've been at this place over here for I don't know, like five years, and uh, it seems like every set of neighbors we get over here is a piece of shit. These people, I never said a word. Never said a word to them. The only time I ever talked to them was when their car alarm was going off. So I think someone was trying to break into it. Went outside with the flashlight and the Glock. I told them I just went outside with the flashlight. I don't want to freak them out. I uh, didn't see nothing. Uh, then we had another neighbor that was a younger lady had a kid. Never had a problem with them. And then everything else has been fucking garbage. Bikers and pieces of fucking trash and everything else. The dude threatened to kill me. Anyway, back to the brew review, right? Now, this is another one I've sent to Nathan, uh, Ebomi, and Hasman Paul. It's the coffee nemesis uh, from Elk Valley Brewing Company out of Oklahoma City. It's a 9%. Um, I have had the regular nemesis. I have, re I have reviewed it. Sorry if everything's a little dark. There you go. Like I said, I'm in a corner and there's either direct sun on my face or no sun at all. Let's see if I can turn this thing, it might help a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it might have. And it's, by the way, a lot of a lot of sounds that went off these two houses in this fence, so. Sure to smell really funky. There are mosquitoes everywhere. So might as well give you a pour on this one, huh? Nine percent. It's not gonna make much of a head. There you go. Really creamy. Really dark and thick too. That's funny. Look at the head. It's got that kind of nitro thing going on. The bubbles go down. Got snark down here, the cat. I'm getting coffee and very minimal malts. It's a, kind of a burnt coffee. Bust out the T30S V2 from Ebomi. We might as well just uh, put it on high. You're, yeah, you're not getting nothing out of this thing. No, you're not getting shit. Got a Panasonic battery in this thing. It's like a 4.4, 4 4.35, something like that volt. Uh, when all my other batteries were sitting about 4.2 or below. Tell you, get those quality batteries. They uh, the last year and they got a little more juice. Mailman's across the street. Fucking thinks I'm fucking insane and shit. I might take this on the go in a minute. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Yeah. Shh. We'll be right back. Man. Better lighting too, isn't it? Alright, head's gone down. Like I said, you're just getting you're just getting coffee. Screaming ass fucking turd with wings. I'm telling you, I hate living around here. There's too many fucking people, man. Fuck it. Kind of disappointing. You don't get a whole bunch of coffee. You 
You mainly get chirping birds and fucking screaming birds and yelling birds and fucking birds. And malt. However, you don't you don't get the nine percent. It feels really thin. It feels uh feels about as thin as the nitro milk stout. It lingers, but it's really really thin in the mouth. Down here I got mailman walking around over here. Right behind the tripod is a truck with the hood up. He'll probably be working on that in a minute. Over here's two houses and any moment they'll walk outside. Here I am a crazy fucking person with a beer in his hand with a camera. Swallowed it wrong. It's just really thin. And there's hardly any any flavor to it. No coffee. Mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah, it's like minimal coffee and mainly a malt. forgot to mention in the last review uh, check the link below uh, really cool dude named uh, I don't know his name but his channel name is Bearded Me puts up a lot of cool videos a lot of vlogs and talks about the beard it's a Canadian so heavy it's your northern brother Starting to get a, a hint of the alcohol. There's nothing. I mean, it's really nothing. I mean, you might notice a little more if you're into the the, the pussy beer game, like Budweiser and Dos Equis and shit like that. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna ever get this again. Just way too thin, way too bland. Uh, the regular Nemesis, I think, tastes better than this. It's like they had Nemesis leftovers and they just added water and coffee and that's it. There you go. Yeah, not a fan. Slight malts. I mean, like, like a lot, little, none. It's like, eh. it's like, you know, dick size for Jesse's brother Travis. Fucking mosquitoes, man! I'm telling you. So, you me. You might not like it, cause I really don't. All right, for an Imperial Stout, coffee, stout. I'm going to rate it for, you know, both an Imperial Stout compared to their, their regular Nemesis, which I I loved it. So far, everything I've had from Elk Valley has been amazing, except for this. Uh, compared to their Nemesis, uh, this is going to get like a 5. Um, compared to any other stout, it's going to get about the same. Uh, four and a half, five, something around there. Uh, as a coffee stout, yeah, I'm, I'm going to raise it just a little bit. I'll give it a six. And a yelping dog that just got butt plugged. Motherfucker getting raped, isn't he? Anyway, I'm gonna end this now. Oh, it's police sirens, that's why. Alright, so there you go. Got a six. We'll see you.